Hey guys, it's little old me again. <laughs> so, today I really, really felt the need to kind of chat with you guys a little bit about a thing I mentioned in my previous video, which was an identity crisis. So when I say identity crisis, I mean the process where you literally go to a mirror and look at yourself and see a very, very different person, a person you actually don't recognize. It's kind of the process where you find that you like different things, don't like what you used to like, hate things that you used to love, have no idea what your dreams and aspirations are anymore. No idea what your dreams and aspirations are anymore. You feel like there's no motivation, there's no point in you doing anything because you can't do anything and you really don't know what to do in the first place. So you kind of lose yourself, you lose who you knew you were. So we all have a very specific idea of who we are and what we want to do with our lives and where we're going and things like that. Things we like, things we don't like, what we want, what we don't want. And when something really major happens in our lives, it just kind of turns everything upside down and changes your perspective. So from the moment your perspective changes, that means everything else around you changes. That means you change completely, fundamentally, because it's not possible to change your perspective and stay the same. Oh, just forgive me and I have a bruise on my leg. So, anyway. So basically, I went through that phase. Um, I think it really, really hit me at about four months postpartum. I suppose up to then, I had quite a few little incidents with baby girl being sick as well. So the time kind of flew up to that point. And my main focus... Hi! What's wrong? Yeah? There you go. So my main focus was baby girl and I really didn't have the time to think of anything that I had wanted to do before getting pregnant, before giving birth, etc. So I didn't realise anything was wrong, I didn't feel like anything was wrong, technically nothing was wrong. When I finally had some time to kind of sit and think and start thinking of me and what I used to do and trying to do it again and kind of getting into YouTube again and my shop and just jewellery and making things, doing things, I realised that the way I had worked before was just not doing it for me at this point. So I started kind of losing that and the moment I started losing my crafting projects, that's where everything, oh, you got a little cough. You okay? Yeah. So the moment I started being unable to craft, that's where things started going downhill because that is the one thing that actually kind of relaxes me and, you know, just helps me kind of chill at the end of the day or something like that, things like that. So I started losing that, then I slowly started being unable to film, I just didn't know what to talk about, I was losing motivation in everything possible. Um, I didn't want to do anything else. I was just looking after baby girl and I also had a lot of people around me uh, insist that that's the only thing I had to do and I started feeling guilty if I wanted to do something else. So everything just kind of came together and I literally just lost who I was. I was doing nothing for me. I was doing nothing I wanted to do. I was nowhere in this whole picture. It was just my baby and me as her caregiver. So one day, funnily enough, uh, I was having an argument with my husband and he literally turned around and said to me at one point, I don't recognize you anymore. I can't see the woman I married, the woman that I knew before we even had the baby. I don't know what's happened to you. And it just kind of dawned on me at that point that, wow, it's not just in my head, like it's not just me thinking that, oh, uh, who am I and what am I doing and where am I going with my life? <laughs> um, it, like, people could see it. It was, it was an obvious thing. Like, I looked lost. I looked like I had no purpose. Like, I didn't know where I was going. So that actually made me think. And I kind of sat down with myself and had a bit of a chat. Um, and I was just kind of thinking, what am I going to do? Like, 
what can I do? What feels right right now? What feels right for me right this moment? And I finally came to the conclusion that the best thing to do was to take a step back. So I literally, I had been trying all this time to kind of do everything I used to do and kind of jump back into the same kind of videos and um, like my collect my jewelry collection, just kind of stick to the same things. I wasn't allowing myself to change and evolve as I had changed through becoming a mom. I was kind of trying to hold on to me before becoming a mom, which is impossible. Any major event in your life will make you change and evolve. You can't just kind of hold yourself back from that. So I took a step back. I took a step back completely. I stopped trying to film videos. I stopped creating new crafting projects. I stopped my jewelry, my shop. I just kind of froze everything and took a step back. My main reason for doing this was that I wanted to see what I was going to miss and what I wasn't, what I would really want to do again, what I wouldn't, um, to hopefully find my motivation and find new ideas. This was about mid-July when my brain was actually being fried from the heat as well, so I could not, there was nothing I could do at that point as well. Um, sleep deprived, extreme heat. I was just a zombie. I was exhausted. There was nothing left of me at that point. So, oh, the wind is just... Hey, like. Hey. So, the first couple of weeks, I really didn't do anything. I literally did nothing but play with my baby and look after her and just kind of do nothing. I watched TV. I hung around. That's pretty much about it. After two weeks, I started tidying up my home and getting household chores done during the week of nap time, just kind of getting things in a bit of order in a weird kind of way. I just kind of fell into a rhythm that I had never had before. It was something very new to me, yet it felt like this is what I'm going to do now. And I'm glad this through right by my lens. Great. So, at about four weeks into this whole stepping back process, I started getting new ideas for videos, for charms, new collections that I wanted to put in my shop. I wanted to open my shop again and start doing things. I started getting excited for new projects like back to school things and Halloween. Um, I was getting a ton of new video ideas. I was able to literally sit down and write down a list of ideas. I haven't done that in ages. I literally hadn't done that in ages. To have like real topics and real things that I wanted to film videos about that had a purpose. A purpose. Because nothing had a purpose up to that point, okay? I just felt like this this is not me. I'm not doing anything. This what's the point? So I've come now to a point where it's been about a month and a half and I am enjoying filming this video right now. I really enjoyed filming my previous video, which is my channel update, kind of life update, kind of a little bit of everything kind of thing. And yeah, because I figured out, for instance, that I love filming in the morning as soon as I wake up and baby girl has just woken up, had her milk, and she's just happily playing in front of me with my PJs, by the way. Hi. Yeah. And I'm happy that way. It excites me. It makes me happy because before... I would wake up and I would just be a miserable, sad version of me, which was no good. So basically, what I want you to take from this video, if anything at all, is that if you feel lost and you're just kind of trying to figure out what you're doing with your life and where you're going to go and what you're going to do, don't overstress and try and force something because it's not going to work. Your brain's just not going to function that way. You need to kind of take a step back. Take a deep breath, recollect yourself, and things will slowly come to you. You need to allow yourself the space to think and feel and really just kind of communicate with yourself because we usually forget to do that. We forget to kind of listen to ourselves well and we kind of focus on what everyone around us is telling us. Anyway, I'm trying to keep the video short and I can ramble on as much as I can you get what I mean? Okay, 
So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting, informative. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Okay. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a like and my voice is cracking. <laughs> I will see you on the next one, guys. Bye.